Today is just going to be a little bit of a quick episode. I'm just going to be checking out these two um, iBook G3 clamshells, just like the other three I have over there. Um, they're 366 megahertz. Uh, all of the ones that I already bought had dead hard drives, so I'm assuming these have dead hard drives as well. And coincidentally, they were all missing the leaf. And um, you can see they're actually in decent condition otherwise now. They should clean up pretty nicely. The screen is a little bit wet because I just wiped it off. But, but yeah, sorry for shaking that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be testing these guys out real quick. Making sure they work. I did get one with a leaf, which is actually uh, missing the battery cover. So I'm going to take out the battery when I test this one. But it's pretty good too. So yeah, just grab a yo-yo and get on with it. So the first one I'm going to be testing is the one with the battery cover and it's missing the leaf. So. Plug it in here. We do have a green light. And we have a chime and a clicking hard drive, just like the others. So something tells me um, either these drives were just crap and were doomed to fail, and there was like a manufacturing flaw, or uh, these were just stored for so long and they just went bad so I'm gonna grab the second one and test that one out okay now here's the one with the leaf and you know it's missing the door cover so I am going to take out the battery just kinda shake it pull tab is gone so it makes it kinda hard but there we go it's probably dead anyways gonna kind of fall back okay let's plug it in green light and we have a chime and a worse sounding hard drive but we do have a backlight so all is good but yeah, something's up with these drives. Um, yeah, open firmware. Yeah, it's like trying to... Whatever, it's a dead hard drive. But at least the clamshells themselves are working. Oh, that sounds great. Alright. So, I'd call that a success. And just for the fun of it, I thought I'd try to boot into macOS. 9.2.2 but because all the others had dead CD-ROM drives and the hard drive is broken I doubt it's actually going to boot up I have a feeling since the hard drive's dead it's just going to cause issues Oh, well there we go, we can actually just boot into a firewire partition. Okay, so what happened was the hard drive in the computer finally timed out, so it just spun down, and the ADA interface, or, my bad, basically it just spun down, so the computer stopped trying to read it, and now it can just boot from firewire like normal until the hard drive spins up again like it just did.
Well, it took a while, but you can see it did actually end up booting up, so you can check it out. You can almost guarantee it's going to have 64 meg of RAM. Yep. But, yeah, as you can see, everything is working. So that basically concludes today's episode. Thank you for watching and have a good one.